Uh, last night, of course, was the great debate. The only time the leaders will go head-to-head -head before polling day. We don't think that's good enough. So tonight, we're holding our own debate to make sure your choice on August 21st is an informed one. Would the leaders join me, please? <laughs> Tonight, the part of Tony Abbott will be played by Mikey Robbins and the role of Julia... <laughs> and the role of Julia Gillard will be filled by Claire Hooper. Are you both ready? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let us begin. In five words, tell us what you stand for, Mr Abbott. Unlike her, to urinate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, how? Is that four words, uh, Mr. Uh, Abbott? Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> frequently. <laughs> Cockhead. Thank you, Mr. Abbott. Thank you, Mr. Abbott. What? Yep. In, five... <laughs> In five words, can you tell us what you stand for, Ms. I Gillard? stand for... Climate action. No. Uh, no, actually, no. I stand for gay rights. Oh, no, no, actually. I stand for vote pe Oh, no. Uh, sorry. I stand for poll results. Could you please explain the major differences between your parties? Mr Abbott. Well, Paul, uh, obviously uh, my party is full of, of experience. Uh, we go back many, many decades. Uh, Joe Hockey is actually 97. <laughs> and as such, we've had a long time to evaluate our policies and we will deliver them at a time when we feel like delivering them and when I say so, and I look good in speedos. <laughs> and Ms Gillard? That you can trust me. Whereas, you should never trust a man whose speedos are so tight you can see the outline of his policies. <laughs> and now, uh, the teams can now ask questions. If you have questions, yeah, I'll yes, be able to Mr. Abbott, this is uh, Mr. Johnson from the, from, from, from the seat of uh, Higginbotham. Uh, <laughs> uh, if a, a, a boat person came to your door, yes. what would you say? I'd say, who put the fucking ocean next to my door? <laughs> Ms Gillard. Oh, yes. Do, do, um, do you and your boyfriend still live in, in that flat in Canberra? No, I have a lovely house in Altona, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, <laughs> look, I've got the place Kev left as well, but um, my furniture just isn't big enough. Um, so... Matheson's going to set it up as a nice little hair salon. I don't think the Australian people will mind. <laughs> Did I answer your question satisfactorily? Because I got a bit confused. No, no I, I didn't feel like you moved forward quick enough. <laughs> Paul, I do have a question for Mr oh. Abbott. When, when we have a moment. Michael Costa. Uh, Mr Abbott. Yes, please. Uh, I'm Michael Costa from America, so I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, you're from America? Please, uh, we yeah. like it here. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> It actually leads perfectly into my question, Mr. Abbott. I've heard you were a triathlete. Now, seeing you physically yes. in body, that surprises me. <laughs> However... Oh, well... Right, what's the, the question? What's the question, Mr. Abbott? Please. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what is your position on same-sex marriage, and do you find me attractive? <laughs> I'll answer that question in two parts. No, and maybe. <laughs> Thank you, I'd just like to say, I'd like to take this opportunity to say that the Labor Party is quite comfortable with two men getting married, so long as they marry two women. <laughs> uh, Mr Abbott, if your party wins the election, where do you see the country in three years? Good question, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I, look, I, I don't want to give away too many plans, but I intend to move in this country so far to the right will knock the shit out of New Zealand. Whereas I just plan to move it somewhere where the boat people can't find it. Come, Mr. Abbott. Yes, Michelle. 
<laughs> please, please, Mr. Abbott, uh, give me one good reason why I shouldn't punch you in the head. Good question. That's a good question. That's, a, that's an excellent question. Because you'll get a fistful of air. <laughs> Miss Gillard, I have a question over here. Oh, yes. Yes. I'd like to know what you do about childhood obesity. Oh, good question. Well, um, based on my own personal experience, I would take children with a predisposition to obesity and dye their, their hair red so that I would know they would be frequently on their feet <laughs> and running away. Am I right? Am I right, kids? Uh, what question? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Is it? Is it no, Mr. after you. I have, I have one like more for Mr. Abbott. If you were injected with truth serum, <laughs> what would you tell us besides that you wanted to have sex with Julia Gillard? <laughs> that that's, a good, that's a good question, Laurie. Um, <laughs> basically, that I'm completely gaga insane, and I suffer very badly from bike chafing. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Uh, Ms. Gillard. Oh, yes. I have a question. Uh, your, yes. the, the slogan of your campaign is moving forward. I was wondering uh, what other slogans did you come up with at the meeting? Because it sounds like something that would have been said at a meeting. Anyway, moving forward, what's the slogan? Oh, oh that, that can be it. Right. <laughs> Were there other ones? Uh, good. Well, um, thinking on my feet... Mm. Um, good slogan. <laughs> We thought of labour, that sounds like hard work. Got rid of that one pretty fast. Gillard, I know how to run fast because I'm a rang up. <laughs> what question would you most like to ask your opponent? Uh, can I have a go? <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 being, and being Prime Minister, for God's sake. What question would you most like to ask your opponent? Oh, actually, could you use Kev on your party? Cause... No. <laughs> uh, one final question. Mr Abbott, why do you deserve my vote? That's a very good question, Humphrey. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many of these people do you have here? Well, actually, hum Humphrey isn't strictly a journalist. <laughs> But you should read his blog. Um, because I'd vote for you. <laughs> and I'm not a boat person. Miss Gillard? If you vote for me, I promise never to be so stupid as to go on Hey Hey, it's Saturday. <laughs> right, well, please thank our leaders. Coming up, Porter and Security. Yeah.